Hi, I'm Dave Burke, the Managing Director of Global Server Limited. We're here today in the Park Hotel at the Life Science Expo 2017. We have a 60-inch screen here today showcasing our work. We like the digital age, it's the way to go, so there's a lot of people here taking notice of it. It's our first time here and we have to say it's a great networking event. We're here at the National Life Science and Engineering Expo here in Mullingar Park Hotel. It's, it's third year going at the moment and um, we feel like it's definitely gaining traction. And word has spread and um, you can kind of see that with the calibre of exhibitors here at the moment. Uh, we also have a great uh, speaker series. Uh, there's three set of speakers each day, Thursday and Friday. And we also have a workshop which uh, Irish Manufacturing Research are um, involved in. Uh, for, with regards to us, we're Vistamed. We're a contract manufacturer based in Carrick and Shannon. Um, we uh, sell uh, basically not direct to market, but um, if someone has a concept or an idea, we would bring that and develop on, on that for them. We also have a dedicated research and development centre also based in Carrick and Shannon, um, which has expanded. We're basically up on about 500 staff at the moment. My name is Michal Savage and my company is Learn and Lishkel, and we research and develop uh, biosecurity products, predominantly for the dairy industry, um, but more recently it was into the food processing side of the industry and over the next six months or so we look to expand into the life science sector. I suppose that's why we came here today or for this event for the last two days. Um, so we found it incredibly beneficial. We were done a lot of networking with a lot of sort of med tech companies and a lot of engineering companies. So at our expansion, we're going to need sort of the potential for clean rooms and the potential for sort of engineering facility as well. So yeah, so over the last couple of days, we really did find it very beneficial. Uh, Gary Moore, the gave from the Mullingar Chamber of Commerce, he gave us a call a few weeks ago and said, listen, I think you should be at this. So uh, we came up and we're just kind of dipping our feet back into the uh, exhibition market, let's just say. So basically, if you you go into a pharmacy and you buy a blister pack of Panadol or a sachet of some form of powder pharmaceutical or a blister pack that might be in a flow wrap, we're the ones that do the printed packaging for those products. I'm Ian McLaughlin, I'm working for Europharma Concepts in Clara County Offaly and I'm the key account manager for Oral Care. It's great to see a lot of local businesses here. We've made some great contacts, we've done some great networking over the last couple of days. Uh, had some very positive conversations with some uh, on the sales side and on, on the services side. Hello, my name is Keith. I work at the local enterprise office in Westmeath. Uh, we're here at the Expo. Um, what uh, LEO Westmeath do, we work with startups and small enterprises with less than 10 employees. So we provide a range of services from funding, training and mentoring to a wide variety of businesses in, in County Westmeath. At the Expo we have quite a variety of businesses coming up to us. Uh, as previously mentioned, we can help with uh, training, mentoring and, and funding. Uh, we find the Expo very, very productive and we recommend people to attend in the Midlands. Councillor Frank McDermott. Chairman of Westmead County Council. I was shocked because, like normally, when you're in an expo like this, you know they're they're from all over the world. But here, the majority of them are from my own county, County Westmead, which is absolutely exciting. Hi, my name is Mary Smith. I'm the branch manager of Bank of Ireland in Castle Pollard. Bank of Ireland is here today um, as Ireland's number one business and corporate bank, uh, providing more than 50% of new business and agri lending to the Irish market. We offer a comprehensive suite of financial solutions and supports in order to help grow your business, whatever stage it's at. Um, at Bank of Ireland we understand that time is valuable, which is why we guarantee to provide an efficient and reliable service to all of our business banking customers. And if you wish to find out more, please visit us at bankofireland.com forward slash business. We have Strikebox Engineering based here in Mullingar, the Midlands. And we do bespoke stainless steel products for clean room and hygienic environments. Yeah, I mean, this is our third year doing the expo. Um, I think it's up on, on the last two years. It's great. Um, there's two elements to it. We, we get to meet um, people in, in the field, you know, uh, fellow exhibitors. Um, and that's a kind of a networking experience and it, it's very good. I'm Brady Sinem. I'm from Mullingar originally. Um, would have set up uh, CertCheck in 2001. Um, primarily to um, supply, install, service industrial doors and automatic door systems and loading bay equipment, electric gates and barriers. The first time that Surcheck Industrial has uh, 
exhibited at this particular event. It's local for us, we're a locally based Mullingar company. This expo is very, very good and I'm delighted at the turnout and uh, I just hope that next year's is equally, if not better. My name is Ian Kerr, I work for IDASO. Um, we use artificial intelligence to extract data from CCTV. So essentially we train neural networks on objects of interest and then we introduce new video to the neural network and it then pulls out that information that we require and then we, we turn that data into something that's meaningful for decision makers. We've had great footfall, um, some really good leads uh, and really uh, from a networking perspective it's been very positive. We, we've met a lot of companies that we may not have been aware of or didn't realise their full service offering. We develop QualiPass because virtually every industry has a need in some format or other to be able to check their credentials and certificates of either personnel or equipment. It's all around simplicity. Uh, most of the contractors who go on site turn up with a folder full of documents, certificates, passes, etc. So we thought the best thing to do would be instead of having multiple different documents with them, they would have one. The contractor is issued with a card and we can actually brand it, logo it here with our own individual company logo. Uh, and then we have the app which is here. So I'm just going to turn on the app. I'm actually going to now scan the QR code. There we go. So I've scanned the QR code and it's actually showing me all of the different certificates that are related to this person. Yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty happy with the event. I mean, we've gotten a, a good few contacts out of it and, and, and it's like the event, we, you work it hard, you get what you put into it. So that's very good. We've had some very good contacts come to us and the hard work starts now with the follow-ups. The Mullingar Chamber are responsible for this uh, National Life Science and Engineering Expo. And we work very hard with some industry leaders um, to really push this and drive this event. It's our third year now and it's been really successful and we've been building on it year on year year and we're delighted with this year and how it's gone and the exhibitors that have attended the positive feedback from them all has been really great from the event itself right through from the exhibition hall to the networking event and, and then further down to Mullingar town so as a chamber we've collaborated with industry leaders around the area of Westmead and Mullingar and it's really made this event what it is this this week and today so we're, we're delighted with it. So I think every year the plan is that we really build on it year on year what we do is we talk to all the exhibitors and the attendees get their feedback, all the positive feedback from them, the negatives. We want to hear it all and we want to build on next year and make it an even bigger event for next year and make sure that we get back the people here that are exhibiting this week but also build on that and get even more exhibitors and make it an even bigger event so that you know the draw is there that people want to just come to this event and we have it in the day next year. It's the 27th, 28th of June uh, here in the Mullingar Park Hotel so we're already in thinking about next year and looking forward to getting planning.